The Peter Lynn Gorilla, a kite which lets you ride extreme. This kite is really easy to set up and is extremely stable. The enormous amount of D-power and the light and fast steering make it a great all-round freestyle kite for kiteboarding. The huge amount of lift and float gives the rider the ability to do higher and more extreme jumps. Find a spot to set up which is free of people, trees, power lines and sharp objects on the ground. Unroll your kite and hold on to one tip. Place the kite flat on the ground with the lower skin facing upwards. Fold the tip over and place some sand on it to secure the kite in the wind. Open the zip, making sure it stands open to allow air to flow in through it. You are now ready to unwind your lines. Place your bar flat on the ground, 30 meters upwind of the kite, with all the leader lines untangled. Unwind your lines whilst walking in a straight line towards your kite. Always try to keep your lines straight to prevent tangles. You are now ready to attach the lines to the bar. Attach the brake lines to the leader lines on the ends of the bar using Lark's head knots. Attach the top line to the attachment point running from the center of the bar. Attach the other top line by passing it through the ring on the bar. Now Lark's head the line onto the extra ring provided before attaching the safety leash to it. Make sure your lines are untangled by placing them in between your fingers and walking to the ends of the lines. Now attach the lines to the kite. The lines attached to the center of the bar should be attached to the top line attachment points at the leading edge of the kite. 
the lines attached to the ends of the bar should be attached to the rear line attachment points towards the trailing edge of the kite. For a heavy feel on the bar, attach the top lines to the second knot and the rear lines to the higher attachment points. For a light feel on the bar, attach the top lines to the first knot and the rear lines to the lower attachment points. Your kite should now have filled with air. Close the zip to seal the air in. Make sure your flying lines are free from tangles and are not caught on any tips of the kite. On the far tip, both the lines should be lying over the kite. Walk to your bar and attach the safety leash to your harness hook. Pull the power adjuster all the way in to fully depower the kite. You are now ready to launch your kite. Stand so your lines are at a 45 degree angle to the wind, with the trailing edge closest to you. If the kite is too far towards the edge of the wind, there is a greater chance of it collapsing during the launch. If the kite is too far towards the centre of the wind, it may produce dangerous amounts of power when launched. Check again that the lines are running over and not under the kite. Take a few steps backwards. The far tip will slowly come up and the kite will slide backwards and take its shape. The other method of launching is to have someone holding the two tips of the kite together while you get into the right position with the lines at 45 degrees to the wind. The helper first lets go of the top tip, allowing the kite to take its shape before releasing the lower tip. Fly your kite towards the edge of the wind and let the kite fully inflate. If you feel that the kite is too big for the wind strength, let go of the bar and the kite will safely land using the safety system. Once the kite is fully inflated and you feel comfortable with the kite size, slowly fly the kite up to the zenith along the edge of the wind window. Hook into the deep power loop and secure it with the locking system. To hook in, pull the bar towards you. You can now release the power adjuster to about halfway. To land your kite, fly it down at the edge of the wind window. Get a helper to grab the tip. Walk forwards to release the tension on the lines. Alternatively, use your safety system when the kite is at the edge of the wind window and close to the ground. The kite will land and slide to the center of the wind. Now secure one of the tips with sand to prevent the kite from flying off. When your depower loop is hooked in, you can adjust the power of the kite by sliding the bar towards or away from you. Pushing the bar away from you causes the kite to produce less power. Pulling the bar towards you will produce more power. Use the power adjuster to set the overall power of the kite. 
Pulling it in will cause the kite to produce less power. Letting it out will produce more power. When steering, pulling the bar towards you causes the kite to turn faster. If the kite stalls, jerk on the centre line to get it flying forwards again. After doing a jump with a rotation, your lines will be twisted. Spin the bar to untwist them. Spin your spinning spreader bar to untwist the safety leash from the depower line. If the kite is lying tip on tip, pull in the rear line of the lower tip which is on the water. The kite will regain its shape. If the tips stick together, jerk on the line to get them loose. Fly the kite off to the edge of the wind. If the kite is on its leading edge, pull in on one line to tip the kite over. Now follow the tip on tip relaunch. After every water relaunch, slowly bring the kite up to the zenith to let any water that has gotten into the kite dribble out before continuing your kiteboarding session. If you have any trouble at sea and are unable to surf back to the shore, activate your safety system to release the power from the kite. Pull in on the remaining line to get to the bar. It is important to first wind this line onto the bar before winding in the rest of the lines. When you get to the kite, fold the tips together and partially roll up your kite so the air is pushed towards the centre. Tilt the kite so that it acts as a sail to drag you back to the shore. If you get out of control, are too overpowered, or need to instantly release all power from the kite, you should use your safety system. When hooked into the D-Power Loop, pull on its safety release. The bar will be released from the rider and will slide along one of the top lines towards the kite. The kite will instantly lose its power and slowly drift down onto the water. If you wish to disconnect the safety leash, pull on its release to fully disconnect yourself from the kite. To pack up your kite, wind the lines onto the control bar. 
Open the kite's zip to release the air. Take the lines off the kite by undoing the lark's head knots. To reduce the chance of line tangles, larks head the lines onto each other. Pack up your kite by folding the tips together and rolling towards the centre to release the air. Available from powercatshop.com.